Oh, I remember all right. Mike Blair, on this fine day, I've decided to issue a challenge to you. And I'm issuing you a challenge that by this evening, in this fishing tournament, I will reclaim the green fishing chair. So, my question to you is, do you feel lucky? There you go. How do you like that, baby? That's a green chair fish right there. That'd be a minnow in Nebraska, Mike B. Well, maybe not. They never saw fish yet big in Nebraska. Larry, can we go out and get that green chair for you now so you can sit in it? Yeah, now right there, this is a guy that's been whipped. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, I hate to say it, but, you know, he set himself up there today, and he, you saw it yourself. He saw the, the throw down that he laid on me. I came all the way from Nebraska to lose this fishing tournament to you, but there'll be another day. So get ready. Remember, I'm gonna get you next time. Get, I'm gonna reclaim the green chair. You can't forget stuff like that. Here I am again, heading down the highway to Pony Creek Lake at Sabetha, Kansas, where I'll meet my friend and college roommate, Mike Grunwald. We went to forestry school together 35 years ago, and all this time later, he still thinks he can beat me fishing. <laughs> Neither of us has been to Sabetha, so as usual, it will be an adventure. I roll in on a Sunday afternoon, and we settle on a $32 a night motel. Now I know this guy is from Cornland, but even so, it's always something of a shock. Nebraska, what the heck? And then there's old Mike G setting us up again. Welcome from Nebraska. I'm here to, I'm here for business. So let's go out there and fish. I'm ready to go. This place will be just fine. I can. Uh, I can whip your butt fishing here and stay here just fine, Mike B. We'll see. I'm ready for you. We'll see, buddy. <laughs> All right. And so with that, we went fishing at Pony Creek Lake. As always, we had our fly rods, our hand-tied flies, and our float tubes, and we were going to fish and film for several days. Right away, we got into some serious crappie fishing. The water was 58 degrees and the fish were pre-spawn in the shallows. Mike hit the water and I stayed on shore. We caught our limits before sundown and ended up giving the fish to some local anglers. Then for me, things kind of went south. Between getting into the local culture and fishing hard, I had a few mishaps that made it hard to go float tubing. I filmed from shore while Mike fished when I wasn't cussing the fact that I lost a $150 pair of new waders on the trip. I hope whoever found them enjoys them. And you know what? Grunwald got ahead. He ended up catching a 17-inch bass from the flooded timber, the biggest fish of the trip, and he got a couple of smaller bass as well. Me, I'm standing up there on the bank catching crappies till my arms were sore. But that couldn't win the biggest fish contest. So by our last day at noon, I was about ready to conceive the green chair. We were eating pan-fried crappies on a beautiful hilltop and the trip had been a fine one to remember. We took it easy and jawed a little about the contest. That way you can gloat a little bit later about <laughs> your green chair award. Well, you know, I'm not that sort, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be handing over the green chair for the end of the day today, so that must be a good feeling for you. There it is. It's empty. I got to sit in that and eat my good victory dinner in it. It looks like I'll be handing it over, so... Well, we'll see. The day's not over yet, but I have to admit, Eating crow last year was no fun. And then Mike G, good old boy that he is, decided that we really hadn't had a fair championship. We got back on the water at 4.30 in the afternoon and Mike pulled the trigger and set up a final fish off till 7. Longest fish any species would win. 
<laughs> oh, that tickled me. I started catching crappies every cast, and then Mike caught a bass. He also caught some nice crappies, but when the smoke cleared, I had him again. It's bigger. Mine was 11. Yours is like 11 and three quarters. <laughs> My gosh, I believe it is. <laughs> well, we didn't measure a crappie yet. Maybe. I know. We oh. got well, we to do that. Yeah. All right. Kiss that booger for me. That's my winning fish. There you go. Good job, Greenwell. <laughs> I That's... gotta get out of here. I this year I don't have to eat crow, but I gotta revive your fish for you. Show me. That's probably the biggest one right there, isn't it? Yeah. It would be either that one or that one or that one or that one. <laughs> 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 okay, so here's my hog crappie. <clears throat> the bass was just, you know, back up just in case. That's the way we do business in Kansas. Mike G gave me another shot at the green chair this afternoon. He had me, but a nice guy that he was, knowing that I was filming all the time and I lost my waders and couldn't get in the water and I didn't have any flies with me or a fly rod, he finally decided to let me back in a competition for a two hour trial this afternoon. And uh, after a hard fought battle, um, I just all kinds of beat him. Well, tell it like it is, Mike G. All right, well, I guess it's my time to eat some more crow. Uh, it was pretty close. I had Mike on the length with a bass to, for the two-day tournament, but he caught an awful lot of crappie. So he was thinking maybe I was the winner, but I said, no, it's too close. Got to have a final fish off here this afternoon, this evening, for the last two hours. Longest fish wins, and he did it. So. I guess I'm eating my crow, but I'm not gonna eat it raw. I'm gonna get my stove out here after a while and boil it a little bit so it'll be a little more tasty. And then I guess I'll head back to Nebraska. <laughs> we drank some homemade wine and then sang on the guitar until about midnight. And then it was over. Okay, Mike, gee. All right, Mike. Been a good one, man. You too. Hope you're rolling. Okay, we'll... Uh... Until we meet again, happy trails to you. Be safe. I will. Maybe next time we'll have a different outcome. All right. <laughs> but I doubt it. <laughs> Grinwald really beat me this time. But don't tell him I said so. <laughs>